After spending hours on a personal tour of the ORA coral farm, it was time to move to the other side of ORA's facility and see how they encourage fish to have sex to create more fish. Jordan, tanks, lots of tanks. I guess these are all parents, but good God, how do you know when someone's expecting and they're not? He's right, these are all the moms and dads. We've got staff that look at these tanks all day, every day, checking each one by hand. They make little notes to, to themselves that they've been fed, that they've spawned. The green dot behind you says, hey, these guys have eggs. Pay attention to this one. So we have eggs and you have to take the tile out and move them? Right. Sometimes we let the parents take care of most of the egg laying and rearing. Uh, sometimes we have our entire stock uh, staff over there that take the eggs and raise them over there with themselves. How do the spawn not get swept away? That's one of the, the challenges, right? So it's either they move them by hand, they're moving with a the net, they're moving them on the tile that the eggs are laid at. There's all sorts of very specialized ways we're collecting these eggs. Best guess on how many pairs of parents you have in this room? Oh man, we did a, a number at one point. I think it was somewhere around 600. Six, just in this room alone? Total, total, total. Blue stock pairs, yeah. Okay, so still, 600 is a lot. That is. Okay, so I gotta know, did you ever like lower the lighting, play some very white, and you know, oh. just really get the fish? I turned it off before we got in the room. As soon as we leave, we'll turn it back up again. And then it's just? It's just go time. All right, that's what you want. So we've got fish that spawn frequently, a lot of your clownfish will do every two weeks. Every, good job mom and dad. Yeah, they are ready. Every two weeks sounds easy enough, but what about every two weeks consistently for 20 years? Oh yeah, they have that too at ORA. This is a wild caught Picasso clownfish. The Picasso clown came from this. Correct. This is a 20 year old fish. Wow. Still laying eggs. All of the designer clownfish that kind of became popular yep. stemmed from how awesome that fish looks. Right there. Yeah. That guy. That's nuts. So black or ice, any of those started with this. Not with the genetics, but the fact that this fish looks so crazy, so different than your standard three-stripe clownfish started a whole craze. <laughs> and they've been here for 20 years, so they may be 22, 25-year-old fish. Oh, they could be older than that. We really have no idea. We've got fish that we know that are at least 40 years in captivity. 40 years. Right. I'm well, sure wild fish don't live nearly as long with like sharks and groupers, but in captivity, oh yeah, it's nice and easy living. And they have never stopped laying eggs for 20 years? No. Probably two weeks the entire time, every two weeks laying eggs. Do you ever consider writing a book about that and selling it to, anyway, okay, <laughs> never mind. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> Grow out. Larval. Larval. Right. That's why it works here. Okay. okay. So the eggs come in here, they hatch. Correct. Then what? All right, so here, it's a lot of caring of very small, invisible creatures. The smaller food to even feed those smaller creatures and just making sure everything survives as best we can. Okay, so I'm guessing you're feeding Fido to like a rotifer to get them fed, right. and then you take the rotifers and feed that to the larvae. Yes. So and you have to make food. We should sign you up to work here. Uh, you know, I ask them before you're old. But anyway, so you have to make, use food to make food. Right. To feed fish. Right, yes, every step of the way. Uh, incrementally slightly larger foods from the tiniest rotifers to artemia to small pellets slightly larger pellets to bigger pellets so at some point you're getting them over to dry correct yeah usually pretty early some fish it's earlier than others some it's just a matter of days some it's weeks um, but by the time we sell our fish they're all eating prepared foods so you hatch them here you grow them you get them onto easy to keep food yeah then they get to a certain size and you move them to grow out. Absolutely. I was and still am amazed at the number of fish Aurora cranks out and how all these fish are eating prepared foods. From the clowns to the blennies to the cardinals to even those small mandarins, they all eat prepared foods. So once the babies are eating prepared foods and are of a certain size, which is still very small, it's time to grow up in the grow out facility. Hey look fish! Lots and lots of clownfish. A thousand? Five thousand? Tens of thousands. Hundreds of thousands? And oh. this is clownfish, damselfish, what, what's in this building? Everything. We've got blennies, we've got dotty backs, we've got clownfish varieties, storms, full bars, fish from all parts of the world, fish we've made, hybrids, and your uh, regular bread and butter. So these guys are juveniles, but they're growing out. Right. How old are these guys? So a lot of these fish could be Anywhere from uh, a month to maybe even six to eight months, close to getting ready to be sold. You're feeding them twice a day? Feeding up to six times a day. Six, just throwing food at them? Just all day, every day. Let them eat. Seven days a week, 
people coming on Christmas to feed these fish. So how do you move 2,000 clownfish from this vat to shipping? So what they'll first do is they'll dig a big net, put it in here, they'll sort and grade the fish. So you'll notice that a lot of these fish are mixed. There may be snowstorms, black storms, mocha storms, tail storms, full bar black oscillaris. So if they only need one type of fish, they'll put those in that, they'll sort them by hand, they'll find the great ones, put them in a bag, drive them down to our shipping building. Okay, so you got some damn damsel fish down there. Uh, but they're not so bad, these are the nice ones. We, we stick to the ones that won't be obnoxious in the home aquarium. You promise? Yes. So if you, I put some in my thousand gallon reef, you're gonna come and get them out? I won't have to, because you'll want more. Oh, the man is bold, I like that. <laughs> So we're growing fish out here. How long do they stay in this room? Upwards of about six to eight months is when we start being able to sell our oscillaris. Some clownfish, like your maroons, take a lot longer and could take 10 to 11 to 12 months before they're ready to be sold. We've got 2,000 clownfish in here, Jordan. What about aggression? So a lot of that is uh, dissuaded by the fact that there are so many, that they are kept so dense, that we feed them quite regularly. So there's not a lot of competition for food. Uh, when it comes to like our dotty backs, we can keep that water moving really, really fast. If they're swimming all the time, they're not really interested in ch chasing and eating each other. So idle fins are the devil's... That's how it works, I've heard that, yes. There you go. But wait, there's more. Time to ship out some fish and coral, because the fish and coral can't stay at ORA forever. Aha! Here we go. This, so This is how we're gonna pack a coral. We've got lots of coral sitting in here. Correct. They came from the greenhouse. Yes. Now it's time to ship me one. Yes. Okay, let's ship something. How does that work? Okay, I'll show you. Take a bag. One third water. Very scientific, one third. Hey, which one do you want? Uh, this one. Oh, that is a great one. Go ahead, grab it. Goes in. There you go. Plenty of water, we're ready to go. Gonna step right behind you, I'm sorry. This technological achievement is the heat sealer. And it's sealed, we've got oxygen, ready to go. Now we ship it. All right, Mark, this is going to you. We'll see you tomorrow. And this, and this. other goodies. And that, and this, and that, and these. If there's a damselfish in there, these are all damselfish. He's technically right, they're clownfish. So it's packed up, heat or cold packs, depending on the weather. Right, how cold is it right now? 33 in Tennessee Ooh. when I left yesterday. All right, we've got three or four 40 hour heat packs. We've got one inch thick styrofoam. Obviously I'll batten it up, seal it up, get it on the road. And it's gone. Down, gone. So I'll what happens it. if FedEx or UPS is delayed or they lose the box? It's not uncommon. Sometimes these boxes will arrive to our customers like they've uh, fallen down a flight of stairs, but the fish inside are remarkably tough. They do very well even uh, under the worst circumstances. So they're here, I acclimate them, I quarantine them of course, and yes. the fish, gotta do that, and then I enjoy them in my aquarium. For years to come. And all this is 100% captive bred or aquacultured. None of these came from the ocean. At some point, something came from the ocean. Correct. But it, the cool thing is, some of it's so long ago, you don't even know when right. it came out of the ocean, but it's still going here today. Yep. And then we get to enjoy them in our tanks. Absolutely. Jordan, awesome. Thank you for taking the time out. Let me enjoy some Florida sun and getting some great livestock, seeing some stuff. Absolute pleasure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.